Chaitin is a math oriented. Only Chaitin. Is that a homework question? My question to you would be, if light can behave like both a wave and a particle, what does that tell us about the nature of matter? Is every substance dual in nature or is light an exception? Actually, this is kind of what physicists were thinking in the 1940s. So the problem was light is still considered a wave for most purposes. But in one specific experiment, the double slit experiment, it was shown to behave like a particle. In that, it gave the same interference patterns as a particle would. Not as, oh wait, no, sorry, it's the opposite. Light was deemed a particle at that point, but it gave off the interference pattern that a wave would. And so the problem was that even though light was supposed to be a particle, it was displaying qualities expected of a wave. And so people started questioning if it was either a wave or a particle. And eventually we decided, well, it was a particle, but any particle can always show qualities of waves. So essentially, there was a physicist named Louis de Broglie, and what he showed was that every particle can essentially be described by a wave with very, very, very high wavelength. And of course, when you zoom in very far, you can... Oh, sorry. When you zoom in very far, you can see that essentially on a lower level, every particle kind of is a wave. So when in, in some sense, you can say everything is a wave, but some waves are more wavy than others. It's a very strange question that people have been exploring for the past 100 years. Yeah, no problem.